You may remember a little while ago, I done a video which allowed you to have tabs in Explorer in Windows 10. Now this feature is exclusive to Windows 11. Well, unfortunately, the Windows Store version of this is now a chargeable product, but I'm gonna show you how you can still get exactly the same app without paying a penny. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Well, as you can see, this great app that allows you to put tabs in Explorer, unfortunately, is now chargeable. But thankfully, the developer has still enabled you to download the app without paying a penny directly from their website. So let's go through the steps on how you do that. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is we need to open up our browser. Now I'm gonna open up Microsoft Edge because it's gonna be on virtually every Windows 10 system. So double click that, okay. And then what we need to do is we need to go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar, but the address bar right at the top of the screen. And we need to delete out anything that might be in there and then type files.community. That's files.community just as it's shown on the screen there. Pause this video if you need to make a note of it. But once you've typed in there, files.community, press enter or return on your keyboard. Now, if you've typed in the correct site, then you should see this website here and you need to move your mouse down to the blue download button just there. So left click once on that, and it's asking, a where do, asking us where do you want to download from? We don't want to download from the Microsoft Store. We want to go to sideload. So it says install files without the Microsoft Store. So left click once on sideload. And then you should see up in the top right hand corner, it should then download. And if it's anything like mine, it's downloaded quite quickly. So move your mouse over open file, left click once, and then this app installer should then start to load. So it says install files. The publisher should be that guy there. The version number may be different as time goes on, but mine is currently 2.4.2.0. And you've got capabilities there. So uses all system resources, file system, and must run as administrator. And also manage other apps directly. Use data stored on external storage device. Access your internet connection. Access your home or works networks. Now, if you're happy with this, then it's okay to proceed and click on the install button. Now, as far as I know, this app is very reliable. It's been downloaded many times and I've not heard of any complaints to say that it's doing things it shouldn't be doing. Move your mouse over install, left click once. Incidentally, if you are unhappy with the app, I will show you how you can uninstall it as well later on in the video. So here we go. So after I click on install, it says getting the system ready for install. So this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your computer and your internet connection. So just be patient with it. It might look as though it's not doing anything for a while, but then suddenly you'll get this percentage bar come up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video whilst it's installing, because it's gonna take some time and we'll come back to it near the end of the installation. Okay, so it's now installed and uh, hopefully in a second the app should load up. Okay, and there we go. Our Explorer has now loaded up and we've got tabs at the top of the screen. So what we can have is we could perhaps have the downloads folder open in one tab and then go across to the home tab and we could have the, desk, uh, the documents folder say opened up in another tab and we can keep adding tabs so we can have as many tabs open as we like. We can switch between those tabs very, very easily. And even if we right click on a file or folder, we get the Windows 11 context menu come up with all the little icons up there as well, just like it is in Windows 11. Now, while we're in here, what we really wanna do is we really wanna go in and and delete the installation file that we just downloaded because that's just taking up space on the computer. So if we just click on downloads on the left here, now if you can't see downloads, all you gotta do is just click on the arrow pointing downwards next to favorites and downloads should be there. And then we're looking for files.stable.appinstaller. Right click on that and then left click on the bin up there 
and there you go. So it says delete items, one item will be deleted. So do you want to permanently delete it or do you just want to send it to the recycle bin? Well, if you want to permanently delete it, then put a tick in that box there. If you just want to send it to the recycle bin, click on delete. Now we don't need to keep this installation file. If we want to download the app again, we can just follow this video again and re-download it. There's no point in having that app taking up space on the computer. So let's just go to delete just down there. I've ticked permanently delete, left click delete, and there we go, that's been deleted but we've still got the app on our system. So let's just come out of this and let's just close down all the apps here and let's just try and find the files app. So what we do is we click on the start button there and there you go, you can see it up the top, but if you can't see it up the top there, just type the word files and there you go, you've got files app. Now what if you wanna put this on your desktop. Now all you do is just right click on that files app just there and then click pin to taskbar just there. And that puts it on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. You can actually hold your left mouse button down over it and move it next to the original file explorer. So you have got the choice. You can go back to the original file explorer if you want or you can use the new updated file explorer which gives you the tabs. But what if you actually want that on your desktop somewhere? Okay, so all we do is click on the start button and type the word run on our keyboard. Then click run app just up there and this box should come up here. Now there might be something in there like mine, there might not be, but if there's something in there, delete it out and then type in there shell apps with a capital A and folder with a capital F. So just like mine is on the screen there, no spaces. So you've got shell in lowercase, colon, apps with a capital A, folder with a capital F and no space between it and click on OK. And there you should see their files. Now what you want to do is you want to right click on that and then just left click on create shortcut. Now it will say Windows can't create a shortcut here. Do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? Move your mouse over, yes, left click once. And there we go, the file shortcut now appears on the desktop. So click on the cross there to come out of it. And if you wanna go into the new Explorer, just double click file shortcut, and there we go. And you've got all your tabs and your Windows right click context menu comes up as well. Also, I must tell you that you can customize this as well just by going into files app. So go into this app here or that app down there or type files after you've clicked on the start button. And when it loads up, you've actually got a cog just over there on the right, the settings cog. So you can go into there and you can muck about with it. You can change the themes, the color, the sidebar, the widget, use compact styles, uh, more overflow items in the sub menu. You've got preferences there, so you can change things in there, startup settings, etc. cetera. You've, you've got all sorts of things you can do to try and sort of customize the system. So have a look through this. I'm not gonna go through this in this video because this is really just an install video. But I did tell you how you could also remove it if you needed to. So if you don't get on with it, then click on the start button and just type on your keyboard apps, okay? And after a while, under best match, it should come up apps and features system settings. Move your mouse over that, left click once. And then after a few moments, you need to scroll down and you should see a list of apps that are installed on your system. And one should be files and uh, all you do is just left click once on it and then left click once on uninstall and left click once again on that uninstall and then it will start to uninstall. And once it disappears from this menu here, it's gone. So let's just go back to the main desktop. So click on the cross there. And as you can see, that is still there, but the actual, when I double click on it, there you go, it goes white. Now, if you wanna get rid of that, just right click on it and then left click delete, but you'll notice files has gone from down there. And if I go into the start button there and type 
files. As you can see, only File Explorer comes up. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, stick around, have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you like this video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.